Yes, guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are enjoying the international break or just finding something to do with your lives for the next week until Chelsea are back on our screens because right now it's boring. I've tried to get into the international fixtures. I, I slogged through that last game against Malta. I think that's who England were playing in the first match. It was, it was boring as sin, I'll be real. Just nice to see Cole Palmer get his first England debut. Happy for him and keep shining, keep boiling out as always. But other than that, it's been dead. It's been really dead. But there is some news to talk about. Uh, apparently, AC Milan are looking to sign Badi Ashil on loan. We'll delve into that later on in this video as well. But before that, I want to talk about Madwaki for a little bit. Because, like, I see this weird narrative where we will run the patience argument with a lot of players. But when, when it's Madwaki, we seem to be undermining um, his development or his positive moments. However limited they may be, we seem to be doing that a lot more with him, which I don't understand. So I want to discuss this because... Madwaki's had limited opportunities all season and, to be honest, since joining us. Partly due to more experience options on the wings, partly due to lack of available game time. Obviously, we have one game a week and all of that. And as annoying as it is, I get it. It is what it is. Like, we're out of Europe. He's not going to be the only guy that's struggling. Like, Matson's going to have limited game time. Broja, Ugo Chokwu, <clears throat> to an extent, the likes of Mudrick. Cole will at centre-back. Plenty of players are suffering because we have a lack of game time because we're playing one game a week. And that's fine. But I see this guy get mocked so much on the timeline and I, I don't get it. Like, I know we can be a toxic fan base, my, myself included. Like, I've definitely had more than a couple of digs at Chelsea players, past and present. But I'll never apologise for criticising players that play below bar consistently. But when it's a player that doesn't even play consistently, like I, I don't get how Mudrick get how Madwaki gets the level of criticism that he has. We've been trying to talk about this patience narrative. There's a bunch of young players who need to develop. They need to be given time, and we get that when it's the likes of Mudrick, when it's the likes of Enzo, when it's the likes of Colwell. Why do we not understand it when it's Madwaki? It's very confusing. Like he had a great performance for the England under 21s yesterday and all i see is fans and big content creators as well just undermining it the saying like the, the people hyping him up that these guys are hyping up an under 21's performance but we were okay with doing that for cole palmer we were okay for doing that for mudrick forget cole palmer literally just won the same tournament that madwaki was in in the summer as well by the way cole will can get props mudrick can get props but when it's madwaki it's his level what what are we doing? Like, did the pictures of him partying really throw people off like this? Because I don't understand that a guy who's keeping his head down, who's just focusing on his craft, and who's consistently performing in under-21 games is getting criticised for it. I, I don't get it. Because even in the limited time that he spent at Chelsea, some of his dribbling stats actually looked pretty good. He just has not had a lot of game time. And I'm not saying throw Madwaki into the starting eleven at any cost. I understand that he's not had a lot of game time and there's fair reason for it. Sterling has been balling out. Uh, Palmer has been balling out. There's only one game a week, so the two of them are bound to start. And that is fine. We could talk about Madwaki needing a short loan, potentially. Go out and get some extra minutes. I'd be with you on that. I think that makes a lot of sense. Because right now, he's getting scraps. He's getting scraps at Chelsea, but... To put him down unnecessarily to the level that I see some Chelsea fans do, it's ridiculous. Because if it was Levi Colwell, it's no, this guy's being played out of position. If it's Mudrick, I'm going to get told, give him time and all of that. If it's Palmer, well, no one's going to go at Palmer, to be honest. Palmer has been balling out. But the point still stands. We can give patience to a lot of players. Why, cannot, can, why can we not give the same energy to Madwaki? Putting players down unnecessarily does nothing to help their development. Now, I understand criticising players who have played consistently and have underperformed consistently because then they're a detriment to the team. When it's a player that's barely played, barely said anything in the press, hasn't looked like he's causing an issue in the dressing room or anything like that. Had a, a problem, a controversy off the pitch when he dared to go on a night out. And him and Poch solved that very easily. 
that's just been it. That's all that that's all that we have against him. I, I don't understand it. Needless digs do nothing. That's the only real point that I want to make out of this whole thing. And I don't really know what we do with Madwaki because his options are very limited right now. I think him and, like we said, the likes of Matson, the likes of maybe even Anugo Chukwu to an extent, they've all, they've all struggled from the fact that we just don't have a lot of minutes to go around. We really needed to make it into Europe last season by any means necessary. Be it even the Conference League, that could have just been brilliant for the youth. You could have thrown the even even the depth centre backs like Badia Shield, who's only just getting back into the team. You'd be throwing him into the cup games. Um, who else you could you be? Gusto would be getting way more game, even more game time than what he's already had. Petrovic would be getting minutes. Um, who else? I, I feel like there's other players I'm missing. Brozier again, off the top of my head. There is a but even the likes of a David Washington. All of these guys are struggling because they're not having enough game time. Even the likes of Mudrit, he's not getting a lot of game time either. So, as annoying as it is, like we need to talk about, we're talking about being patient with players. We need to be patient with the players that are playing and patient with the players that are not playing. Because, regardless, it's not their fault that there isn't enough minutes to go around. We have one game a week, it's as simple as that. Let's be patient with some of these younger players. They're not the same flops that we had last season who had been stinking up the pitch for the last two, three years on the bounce. These are new players in a new team with a new manager with not enough game time to go around. Leave them be. Let them develop. Um, what else do we talk about? Badia Shio, I didn't even get into that. AC Milan are looking to sign Badia Shio on loan in January. Now, we did talk about some of the Chelsea Fan TV pod. Should see that come out tomorrow or something. Um, I'm not here for it. I don't think anyone's here for it. I'd like to see you try get him on loan, but there's no reason for it. I know people are going to talk about game time and all of that, but I think Badia Shield is of the quality that he could walk into the team right now. It's just DeSassi and Silver have been there and they've done really well. But as of right now, he's already our third choice. If you're going to ask me Badia Shield or Colwell, respect to Colwell, but I'm picking Badia Shield. So... And I know it's, I know Colwell's had a lot of game time at left back as well. So we can't really judge him in the centre back position, but that's why I also can't go with him as my number three option. It would have to be Badia Shield, because he's just shown me too high of a level. Especially with all the crap that we've surrounded him with. So I I don't want to see um Badia Shield going out on loan at all. Hell, I don't even think I'd want to see Colwell go out on loan. Badia Shield, Silva, De Sassi. Cole will, I think that's your centre back sorted. You only you can have four. You can uh, we should be going to the finals of the Carabao Cup, God willing, and we'll have FA Cup competition as well. So there should be enough minutes to go around. And Cole will's basically being viewed as a left back now anyway. So who's to say he won't get minutes in either position? But we'll see what happens. I feel like this is just a rumor. I don't think there's anything serious to it, and it would be very alarming if we actually let this happen. But. Big up to everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Does Madueke deserve this criticism? Am I just waffling? Or is he being treated unfairly by sections of the fan base? Let me know. Would you want to see Badia Shield go out on loan? Do you think he deserves extra minutes? Do you think he needs those extra minutes? Let me know because I think Badia Shield is just a few defensive errors away from just walking into the eleven anyway because that guy's just got that level about him. You could argue Silver, Badia Shield, the Sassy, Badia Shield, whatever you want to do. Don't really care. Either of them's fine. Like, we're set at centre-back. So, to me, it's just like, why would you change it? There's no real reason to. But, yeah, I'm going to bounce. Big up to everybody just locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that. Up the Chelsea.